Hey everybody, sorry I haven't made a video in such a uh, long time. Um, this here is just going to be a quick update vlog. Uh, just to bring up speed to where where I'm at now. Uh, where I left off, I had just started with Lone Star Transportation. I wasn't making a whole lot of videos at first because I was just really busy. I mean, I was running 3,000 to 3,500 miles a week. And plus securing, tarping, and all that stuff. It just, I was working to the end of my 14 every day. So I just really didn't have time. And it was the middle of March 2012. I was home on home time. And I found an ad online for a local job running line hall for Central Transport. Now I've been filling out applications for years with UPS, FedEx, Conway, all the big LTL companies. And um, I've never actually seen any of them advertising for line haul drivers until then. So I, um, so I figured just what the hell, figure out, uh, fill out the application. So I went down there, filled out the application, and I was pretty much hired on the spot. I mean, I did, I did the application, I did my interview, drug test, physical, paperwork, everything right then and there. Then, when they called, then they called me the next day to let me know that, you know, they got the results for the physical and drug tests and um, wanted to know when I could start. So I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do because Lone Star was a really good job. I mean, the truck was great, the money was great, the uh, benefits were good. The only real downside was I was on the road for so long. And um, I'm not going to get too spe <clears throat> too specific with the uh, with the companies in this video. Um, I'm going to do review videos like I did at the end of my first year with Watkins Shepherd, except it's going to be uh, like a review of my entire experience with each of the companies that I've worked for, so I'll save all that stuff for that. But um, So I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. I went back, uh, I told them I wanted to think about it, so I went back on the road after home time, uh, and that very first w trip out, the very first shipper, I mean, I went 30 minutes up the street from my house to pick up a load, and that shipper reminded me of everything I hate about over the road. My entire morning and the whole my whole trip plan went to crap because they took hours to load me, only to then realize that they put the wrong stuff on. So I had to unsecure everything I had just unsecured. And I'm, I'll post a picture of the load so you can see what I'm talking about. It was a mess of a load. So a pain in the ass to secure. Then I had to undo it and then redo it. So that was just it. And I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Probably a whole week I was just thinking about it. You know, be lo local. The money w the money wasn't supposed to be that big of a difference. So um, after about a week of thinking about it, I decided that might as well give it a shot. I gave my two weeks notice uh, to Lone Star. Then like a day or two later, they asked if I w if when I delivered that load. I was maybe two hours from the Gainesville terminal where I was delivering to and they asked if I could turn my truck in if I'd be willing to turn it in early because they had guys in orientation and they didn't have a truck ready for them. So I figured why not take a two-week vacation. So I turned my truck in early March 30th 2012. Uh, went home. I had a two-week vacation basically and then I started at Central Transport on night shift running line haul that for two months. Then a first shift position opened up, so I moved up to first shift. Did that from June 2012 until April 2013. So I had been with Central for a year. And the, the company restructured, I guess you could say it. I'll be more specific in the review video. But as far as this video is concerned, they restructured and my job and a lot of other drivers' jobs were disappearing and what jobs were left was going to be on night shift and that wasn't going to happen again. I spent a couple weeks looking for other local jobs, literally filled out an application with every trucking company I could find within an hour and a half of my house and there's a, a lot of them. Every major LTL company company in the country has a big terminal here filled out an application with all of them and luckily for most of our drivers this happened in April when all the 
a lot of companies in the area were even actually advertising for local drivers. So most guys got other local jobs. I had a local job lined up, and I'm going to save the, inform the details on that for the review video. Um, so that didn't end up working out. You'll have to watch that video to find out why. So then my next uh, backup, I guess you'd call it, was going to be running regional, home on weekends. And so uh, naturally I wanted to try and get back to flatbed, but I wanted to stay away from e-logs, 62 mile an hour trucks, companies that want to hold your hand through everything, companies that want to tarp absolutely every load, regardless of it being necessary, and pay you $20 to sit there and do it. Um, or if at all. And then a lot of those flatbed companies were only, only guarantee you 34 hours off on the weekend. I was, my local job, I mean, I was off work by 7 p.m. on Friday, and I didn't go back to work till 6.30 Monday morning. And I was home every night during the week. So that was kind of a, a big difference, and I didn't want to have that little amount of home time. Um, so then I started looking at food service stuff, and van, other van companies, and reefer companies, and ended up finding um, BAH Express out of Atlanta, Georgia. We ha they have a terminal like 35 minutes from my house. I filled out an application there, got a call the next day. They uh, it was like a pre-app phone call just to verify everything on the application, tell me a little about the job. Um, then, so then uh, they processed my application. Maybe three or four days later, I got a phone call from the terminal manager who wanted me to come in and interview. So I went in and interviewed, road tested, drug test, physical, sounded good. The next day I went and gave my notice to Central that I was leaving. And at that point, uh, they had already lost like 15 drivers. They had already quit and left for other jobs. Uh, so that's where I'm at now. Uh, I've been here, this is Thursday, the... Thursday, May 9th. This is my second week. So far, it's going. Everything's going good. I really like the company so far. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I'm sitting actually at a receiver. It's I got here like 6:45 p.m. and they don't open until 7 a.m. tomorrow. So I figured I had time to do this video since I've been getting a lot of requests and like a couple hundred emails for the last 14 months about making more videos. But like I said, there's going to be the review videos coming up, and then hopefully I'll be getting back into making driving videos now that I'm back on the road. So anyways, thanks for watching.